Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. So this is OLED E8 2018, and I just want to do a full spin while I'm filming this in dark, just to show you what type of uh, viewing angles we're talking about here. And I want you to pay attention as I'm scanning and panning, moving left and right, that we are not losing any viewing angles. Everything is exactly the way it should be. As you can see right here. And here we are from an angle again. This is OLED. I, I'm doing this video for those of you who are not familiar with the OLED. And you never tried the OLED. You see this? You're getting the same picture quality. The same exact imagery. No matter from where you're sitting. I could be even sitting from here. And I'm still going to have the same exact picture quality. No matter what. All right, so let me go ahead and slowly move to the right. And you're going to see exactly the same picture quality. And I have my lights turned off purposely just to show you this. Uh, this is a uh, Fast and the Furious spin-off Shab and uh, and of course the WWE star that's also uh, cousin to Dwayne Johnson, Roman Reigns, Hawaii, Hawaiian cousins, you know. I haven't seen the movie, but uh, supposed to be a fun movie, I guess. I don't know. But as you can see, it's it's you never lose the quality. Now, this is something you cannot achieve on an LCD panel. Uh, and speaking of OLED... Just so everybody understand, the Samsung has just uh, made some kind of corporation deal with some Chinese company where they're going to be producing their own uh, OLED with QLED. So they're going to implement quantum dots with the OLED. Imagine quantum dots with the OLED and you're going to have picture perfect uh, color accuracy. It's going to look just amazing. So listen guys, the OLED's not going anywhere. OLED is here to stay, uh, and uh, uh, like I said, I have this TV now for, it's going to be 11 months pretty soon, 11 months, and I haven't had any issues, okay, no issues at all. Now, to, to truly appreciate this, you have to, you have to see it in person in the dark, you know, like this level of viewing angles and contrast ratio, guys, you cannot achieve this on your uh, LCD panel. Again, I'm making this video for those of you who are new to OLED and you don't have any idea, like what you are missing pretty much. And here we are with the uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, obviously. And uh, look at that. You're not missing anything. You're seeing exactly the way you would be seeing it from the center. And for those of you who really love movies, uh, honestly, if you love movies, the OLED is really like a... It's a godsend. Uh, it's really like perfect. Uh, let's talk about this this really quickly, this whole thing with the burn-in. Guys, is it possible you might get a burn-in? That's like me saying, is it possible you might get stuck in the elevator? Is it possible you might have a this, you might have a that? Is it possible you might get sick or have a flu tomorrow? There's always possibilities, but that's why uh, you take certain precautions to prevent that. So that doesn't happen, okay? So what I'm trying to say here is this. Um... The OLED is here to stay, and uh, to me personally, and this is coming from a guy who's got a bunch of TVs, all right? bunch of TVs, okay? And oh, they're all bought by me. I paid for them. No one gave it to me, all right? No one sponsored me. So what I'm trying to say here is if you care about natural picture quality, this is it. If you love movies, this is it. 
especially for the movies, I really don't see anything else uh, beating what the OLED is bringing for the movies. If there's something better, please let me know. I would like to see it. Don't talk to me about micro LEDs. Micro LEDs are not out yet. Don't talk to me about the uh, mini LEDs. That's just still LCD, but with more tiny little diodes of lights behind it and a better local dimming, but it's still LCD. Remember, guys, uh, if, it's a, if it's a LCD panel, it's still LCD. I don't care if they got mini LEDs. I don't care what kind of local dimming they put on there. It's still LCD panel, okay? We're talking about emissive technology. We're talking about organic light emitting diodes. So um, there's nothing out there, in my opinion, at this moment, that can achieve this level of picture quality fidelity the way the OLED does. And this is something you have to bring home. This is something you have to see for yourself to truly appreciate how beautiful this looks, okay? I'm just trying to show you some uh, viewing angles here so you can get some perspective on what I'm talking about. But remember, when you see this in person, it's a totally different ball game. It's a totally different story, okay? So remember that. You gotta see it in person. This video is not gonna do jack shit, even though I'm recording it 4K. But it'll give you some idea, at least. It'll give you some idea uh, for what it's worth it. All right? So, well, there you have it. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys pretty soon. Have a good one, though.